one of my personal favorites, uh, just as far as a baseball fan. I uh, always thought he kind of got knocked at being a you know, watch too many kind of guy. I and mean, if you look at the numbers, really not as bad as people kind of try to make this guy out to be. I uh, was investigating, you know, doing some more research for this episode, really falling in love with the numbers that I was finding, really kind of you know, reintroducing myself to Sonny Gray, the pitcher, the good pitcher, not the 2016 pitcher that mm-hmm. was back up and mixed up with injuries and had a lost year, completely write it off. Uh, I don't think this is what Sonny Gray is, it's all last year, I should say. Going into his 27th, uh, 27th season, there's a lot, a lot, a lot to love. I'm not sure there's a better bargain in all of baseball right now. So much so that I personally went out and made a trade myself, uh, packaging, uh, Sonny Gray and Tyler O'Neill. We'll get into it another time in our prospect talk, uh, and sending the aging, rapidly aging Paul Hamels. Uh, so that shows you right there. If I put my, my uh, money where my mouth is and I really, I'm buying into Sonny Gray this year. So. I know you kind of had a similar take. You want to tell me some more, uh, some more juice to get excited for, uh, for some of this? Yeah, and the funny thing with Gray is he's sort of the opposite of Quintana for me. That like two years ago, going into last season, Gray wasn't somebody I was drafting. I thought he was a little bit overvalued in terms of where he was going. And a lot of it was, like you said, I mean, the walks, not like he's a four-walk guy, but he's a three-walk guy compared with a seven you know, K per nine. Usually if someone's going to be walking, you know, three plus, you know, three and a half batters per nine innings, I want someone that's going to be more in the, the high eights to, you know, mid nines and up. Uh, he's not one of those guys, but he's a ground, elite ground ball guy. His ground ball rates have always been in, into, you know, the mid fifties, which is very good. Um, you know, he's not Dallas Keuchel, but I think he's a better pitcher than Dallas Keuchel, truthfully. Um, things I saw last year. Now he was obviously hurt. He was ineffective. He was also incredibly unlucky and there were a couple of stats that stuck out to me obviously his baby which is 319 which isn't great but the two big ones was his, his left on base percentage which was 63.9 percent 63.9 percent for a left on base percentage is is relatively absurd you usually don't see that very often it's incredibly unlucky but the big one was his home run to fly ball ratio was 17.5 percent which was double what his career rate was and he's pitching in oakland which is relatively a pitcher's park, though they've had a history, you know, of, of good power hitters. Um, so I think when you look at some of those numbers, you look at the five ERA, you know, he's a small righty. There's always been sort of a bias against small pitchers like him. People are like, you know, is he going to hold up? He had the forearm injury. So I think he's somebody that you can you could take a chance on and get a huge return on this year, and then maybe even flip next year when he's back to those, you know, low threes, you know, high two sort of ERA seasons. And putting up some good stuff, so I think he's a, I think he's definitely a buy low at this moment. And it's funny because it's totally uh, the reverse of what I felt about Sonny Gray last year, where I thought he was overhyped. Yeah, and I think a lot of people are going to be surprised, especially when I tell you he's currently the 56th starting pitcher, uh, 206th overall. Again, mm-hmm. he's a uh, NFPC ADP members. That might sound in line for you know based on what he did last year, and somewhat of the mean. Uh, that, he, that he still has. Sonny Gray is a recognized in the household community. But that is an incredible, incredible, incredible bargain. We're literally getting a top 20 pitcher in the basement for, for, for you know, uh, thrift store price. Uh, it's not going to cost you much to get a huge return on your dollar. So I'm looking at Sonny Gray as somebody I won all of my rotations in 2017. Yeah, so much so that I said it. I want streaming. The Dynasty League, I'm, I'm moving Cole Hamilton. So, uh, might sound foolish now, but we'll see. You got to take gambles in life. And that's one of the ones I took. I hope that doesn't stop you from watching this in the future. <laughs>